Hey everyone, it is your favorite auntie and I'm back with another video. I really want to get into this sit down conversation that Trey and Cynthia had because I thought it was just so mature of them to be able to come together and let people in just a little bit into where they are now and in their co-parenting relationship and just kind of revisiting some things that happened in the past that caused them to break up and what led to those things and each other's point of view about those things. So everything in this video is alleged. It is in my opinion and it's for entertainment purposes only. So the reason why I wanted to do this video, because as an older auntie, I found it just really mature of them to be able to come together and have this sit down conversation they're only what, 25 years old. And so they got into a relationship at a very young age. She talked about how, you know, she started dating him at 17 years old and he was 19 years old. And from such a young age, they were, you know, kind of thrust into living as adults, living together, paying bills together, then having a child together. That's a lot at such a young age. And to be able to expect certain things from one another at that age. So I just kind of want to talk about both uh, people's point of view, because I think more so Trey than Senya. He really just wasn't, in my opinion, hearing where she was coming from. There was some, there was some disconnect. And the reason why I would say more so on his side, because he kept going back to the same points that he was trying to make with her about why he was grinding so hard. But I felt like Trey heard what Senia was saying, but it wasn't resonating with him. It just wasn't, it just wasn't making sense to him that um, she couldn't accept the fact that what he was doing for them was, was enough. And so I'm going to get into that, you know, a little bit later, but the reason why I think that, he had more of a hard time with her perspective is because if you look after the video was over with and he uploaded it and you start looking at the comments, you know, he really was getting mad at people. It seemed like, cause he was going back and forth with people about his perspective. And so let's just get into it. So let's, let's talk about his perspective. Let's start with him first. So from Trey's point of view at such a young age, which you have to give him kudos for that to be so young and to, have the work ethic that he had at that age, that's commendable. And I think he knows that he's a rare type of guy because he mentioned that a couple of times. I'm a rare type of guy. That's true. That's rare to find someone at that age so dedicated to um, work and to grind so hard for his family. So that's his point of view. His point of view is that I'm working every day. I, I want to make sure that I'm never poor. I, I'm taking care of my family. I have so many responsibilities and I want to take care of you too, Cynthia. And in order for me to do that, I have to work when I don't feel like working. I have to go so hard. Um, I have to make sure bills are paid because it's just not her household. It's it's his other households he's taking care of as well. And then to feel like she's constantly accusing him of cheating all the time when he knows all I'm doing is working. He even talked about the fact that he is trying to appease her by letting her go through his phone. He's telling her that anytime you need me, I'm there. I'm picking up the phone. I'm FaceTiming. Um, whatever it is that you need, we go on a shopping spree. We take a trip. I got you. I'm paying for it. He even talked about the fact that if she had her own money, um, he would let her spend it on whatever she wanted to spend it on. She wasn't required to pay any bills. He made sure that that was taken care of. That's commendable. You you don't even find that in some grown adults. So the fact that he did that, I think is, I think he needed to hear her say, thank you. And she kind of said that, you know, she, she, she did recognize the fact that she said that, yes, I love the fact that you were able to do those things for me. He provided a platform for her to be able to be an influencer and to start her own YouTube page. And so for that, I think he wanted just a little bit more gratitude. I think he needed more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I think he needed more validation from her that he was great in that area. 
And then he also even went a little deeper and he even talked about the fact that, yeah, you know, I feel like the way that he felt like the way that he was putting it down at night, the way he's taking care of her sexually, that that also should have been something that she should have been grateful for. And she, you know, co-signed on that. Like, yeah, yeah, you did do that. that that's true. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's That was a part of it. And you did great in that area. And I think he thinks just because he's a provider and that he could satisfy her, that that should have been enough. And for most women, it probably would have been enough. But then let's look at her perspective. From her side of it, she's saying that she's not a materialistic type of girl, that she actually prefers someone that has the time for her. What she's looking for is that cuddle time, that let's watch a movie time, that's let's go just you and us go on a date um, she wanted more of his time, more alone time. I think she respected the fact that he was working and he was grinding, but at the same time, she wanted him to be able to understand that for me to, um, for me to be happy, for me to really enjoy this relationship, that's something that I'm going to need. And I'm speaking for Senia when she's saying that I need someone who can give me more love and affection and she talked about how she yearned for that like she was in desperate need of that so I don't know if she just didn't have her father around and so because of that oftentimes you'll find girls who have daddy issues because they didn't have their father around so they try to find that in a guy they want that guy to come in and just um to just love on them and um feel secure and she didn't feel that. She talked about her insecurities that she brought into the relationship. And I think she said that over and over and over again, how she brought insecurities into the relationship. And so, yes, she was always accusing him of cheating because I don't know if she just grew up seeing that or it was her last relationship that she said was real toxic where because I think he treated her so bad, she just brought that into this relationship. And it's almost as if she was kind of in a way self-sabotaging it or she just was used to that toxicity and just brought that over into this relationship so she acknowledged those things and so we got to commend her for that too to be able to on camera acknowledge that in front of people because that's not an easy thing to do it's one thing to sit down privately and say I have insecurities but to say that on video where she knows that this is probably going to go viral and it's going to get a lot of views and she has to open up like that. That's a, that's a commendable thing for her to be able to do that. I don't even know that I could do that at my grown age to be able to sit in front of a camera in front of thousands of people and let people know that I had insecurities. So um, I hope that people don't come for her for that because, um, you know, she acknowledged that. Um, but I think what Trey had a hard time understanding from her is that yes you are a provider yes you did all of these great things but that wasn't going to keep me that was not going to make me feel whole it's not exactly what I need long term in a relationship and I don't think that he got that because he was quite defensive and if you kind of I'm a body language person where sometimes I just kind of look at I'm not a body language expert or nothing crazy like that but sometimes you just look at people's body language and you notice like one of the things that I noticed with him is that he was getting kind of in defensive mode. And then at one point looking like, I don't want to hear this mode. <laughs> so it looks like it still is something that is hard for him to move past. I think he's over the relationship. I think he acknowledged that, but I, I don't think that he can get over the fact that he's like, I'm this great guy. You know, I work so hard and I'm trying to secure our future because once they had the child, he really went into grind mode. He talked about that. And she said, yes, you went into grind mode and you actually were not around even more so then because now you're working even harder. And to his point, he's like, yeah, because I have a child. So I'm trying to work extra hard. I'm trying to make sure the, secu the, the future is secured, not only for you, but also for our child. And she's like, I get all that. But at the end of the day, I really just wanted you. Like she wanted him to be at home with her more. And I think she said they had an in-home studio, but he still wasn't like around. He was in the studio. He was working. So she even said that the, the person that she is, she's matured a lot, but she also recognizes that the person that she is, is not a right, the right fit for him. He needs someone who um, is, I really think he brought, he probably needs someone who's probably in the industry too, 
Because if he goes and dates a regular girl, I think anybody would have a hard time with the fact that he's gone all the time. He spends a lot of time in the studio and maybe he knows how to balance it more now, but I think that he's got to find somebody who is an artist as well. So she could be gone just as much as him and then he could see how that feels. I don't know, but yeah, I think he needs someone who, who's in the industry, who, who gets it, who understands what that's like. I think that's going to be a better match for him. And like she said, she said she's ready for her nine to five type of guy because that is more important to her. Somebody who is who is there and can, you know, take her out and cuddle with her and do all the things that she's looking for. That's more important to her than the things. And I don't know that Trey really got that. Like he heard it and he's like, yeah, okay, I understand it. But at the same time, I think it was still very hard for him to um, accept it. And he just was thinking like, nah, I'm the, I'm the guy, I'm the man. What you mean? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Like I'm a rare type of breed. Cause at one point he even went into saying that she's not going to find anyone else like him. But I think he meant like, of course you can't date another artist because there's no other artist that'll be like me. That'll be faithful like me. That'll give you all the things that you want and need as far as, uh, um, materialistic wise, like me. Um, and that's why she was like, no, I'm not even looking for that. First of all, I'm not looking for a relationship at all. And I'm not looking for that type of person. Um, but Trey better hold on to his seat because when she does find that person, I think that it's going to be hard on him. I think Cynthia is at a point where she is completely over the relationship. You could tell like women just know these things. And I can tell that she's so not interested in a relationship or ever going back to a relationship with him. She recognizes that he's just not her person, that that's not what she needs. And um, I think for Trey though, I think he's moved on from the relationship, but I think a part of him, just, this is just me observing it. I still think a part of me still thinks that if she would want to give it a go, he would, he would be in to give it a go to. I could be completely wrong and he could be like, no, nah, absolutely not. But it was given that for me. I thought that, yeah, if she said the word, he, he'd be down to try again. But I just think he's just that type of guy, though. You know, he don't want he didn't want to give up on his family. He has a daughter. And so I think that uh, that would be his his biggest thing of wanting to try. But I think that he deserves, like he said, someone who's his peace because he talked about how like she wasn't his peace. She, she, he would come home and she, for him, he just felt like she was just ready to accuse him. She would be nagging. She wasn't as supportive. So he needs someone that could be a more peaceful person. And, um, so I know some people were putting in the comments like, Oh, I think you guys should just give it another shot. I think you guys, you know, could really just work this thing out. I'm like, are we watching the same video? Because she's clearly over him. And then the way they were kind of going back and forth, because what the video was like an hour and 30 minutes. And the way they were going back and forth, you could tell like, okay, yes, it is for the best that they are not together anymore. I think they are better off as just friends and probably are excellent co-parents. And I could tell that if she needed something, he would still be there for her. You could tell by the end of the video, the way he was slumped up on that couch. I don't know if it was from whatever he was drinking. I don't know if he was on some Patron or whatever he was on, some Don Julio, but it had definitely got to him <laughs> and he was just over it. And he looked like, uh, he just looked like he was defeated and he was just irritated and annoyed. Um, but, uh, then he kind of came around the end when she was like, come on, give me a hug. So you could tell he was in his feelings. He was feeling hurt about some of the truths, even though she said they've had these conversations off camera. I still think it's hard for him though. I still think he feels like, no, nah, I'm the guy. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I don't understand. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's why he was just writing a long dissertation to people in the comments, but that's my thoughts about it. So you guys drop it down in the comments and you let me know if you watched the video, what were your thoughts about it? Um, if you thought that they were given chemistry that they should get back together, <laughs> I don't know how people saw that, but that's possible. Um, if you felt like I, like the way I feel, which is that no, Cindy is definitely over this relationship. She's, she's never going back. It's obvious. She's never returning. Um, and if you think that, um, no, Cynthia really didn't take accountability and, and Trey understood where she was coming from and he took accountability. You guys let me know what your thoughts are about that. One last thing I want to point out because I forgot to mention in this video was when they talked about he, when she 
uh, when he broke up with her for four months and she had to move back. And when she came back, it just was never the same. And so she felt like she had made it clear to him that they weren't together, but they were, I guess, working on it. And he's like, you never made that clear to me. So she didn't feel like that she cheated on him because she said, well, we're not together. I think that's semantics. Like, no, that I feel like that was cheating because I think she's smart enough to know the type of guy that Trey was that when they were on breaks that he wasn't seeing anyone else. I think, I honestly think that that was her get back. She was like, okay, yeah, you took me to Puerto Rico for my birthday. I'm coming back. But at the end of the day, I'm going to see what else is out there and I'm um, going to look around. And I absolutely think that she knew that. And I think she just did, doesn't want to come across as that person that cheated on him. So she wanted him to clear that up. But at the same time, it's like, no, there's nothing to clear up. You really did him wrong in that in that sense. But I get it because she's like, well, you did me wrong because you told me you were done with me. And I had a two month old. And he's like, but do you not understand why? Like why I was done with you? I mean, who wants to be accused of cheating every day when I keep telling you I'm not and I'm just trying to work and you're driving me crazy? Who wants to deal with that? So he felt like, well, because you drove me to want to break up with you, then that's why you left. They were going around and around and around and around on that. So at the end of the day, yes, I definitely think that she was in the wrong for seeing someone else knowing that. Trey was not doing the same and that, you know, he was trying to work on you guys getting back together. That's my thought about that. So you guys can let me know what you think about that. And that's all for this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel.